Welcome to the Media Monsters Podcast. My name is Danny Galvez. We have a very special training for you this week. And listen, if you're listening to this in audio only, you you might want to head over to Media Monsters 1111 on YouTube so you can watch the full training. I do a screen share. And today we are talking about podcast editing and editing for audiobooks. So I'm going to show you the most stringent way to edit your audio to be able to master it and deliver it without sibilance without sounds or noises that interfere with a listening experience for your for your audience. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Jeremy will be back next week as we do another episode of the Media Monsters podcast. He's currently in studio recording an audiobook right now. So I'm going to take it from here and uh, enjoy the episode. Make sure you take plenty of notes. And if you ever have any questions, you can always reach out to us, info at Monumental Voice Media. Or you can make sure you follow us too on our Facebook page, Media Monsters. We'll see you in a bit. Enjoy the episode. Okay, in this module, I'm going to show you how to get into the technical editing of any audio file. It doesn't matter if you're editing a podcast or you're editing an audiobook. But for this purpose, we're going to look at the podcast editing module. Again, raw audio is raw audio. The same principles that you use in editing podcast are going to be the same that you use with the exception of a few minor things in audiobooks. However, the principles are the same. In this particular module, we're listening for pops, clicks, hard consonants. So those would be k or t or b or p. Those are hard consonants. So the hard p, the hard t, the hard c, the hard ch, which ties into sibilance. We'll be playing that as well. So getting into sibilance. So let's talk about that. Long Fs, so, and long Ss, and long Ch, or over-pronunciated words. So I'll give you an example. Frank loves finding frogs, right? There's almost like a hesitation or delay. Silly Sammy swims with sea shells. Okay, that's weird, but anyways, for all intents of purpose, purposes you understand that it's we're listening for the s, the snake sound the f and then chubby chubby bunny mm -hmm. chubby chubby bunny likes choo choo trains there's too much ch, ch, and it makes a high pitch frequency in the ch, ch, ch. if we were to take that as a wave format you'd be able to find the high pitches we want to minimize that you can make it softer ch, right chubby chubby bunny likes to play with choo choo trains so it's not so abrasive and in your face. We're going to be listening for things that might come up in this audio file due to poor quality or um, falling away from a microphone as well. So sometimes the sound gets lost or it gets distorted because of the device, the type of microphone. Um, in some cases, you might get audio that's been recorded on a phone. Your job is to make it sound as good as you can without over-processing it. And actually, no processing and no compression. So let's get started. Listen, I just want to be clear about, I just want to be clear. That right there, hard consonant, fade in, highlight, fade in. Clear about something, ear, about something, ear, ear. You can hear there's a run on sentence. When possible, you're going to want to generate silence. I usually say about 5.5 .5 seconds, so half a second. Ear respond, about something, ear respond, about something, ear respond. Irresponsible. You hear that click? That's distracting. We need to go in there and find that. What's the source of that? Here it is right here. You see that spike in the wave? The wave has been disrupted. That's what we're looking for. The spike is the enemy. It's coming to kill your audio file. So you want to get rid of that. Now let's listen to it again. No click irresponsible so let's listen to it with the click undo bon, 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 bon. now redo responsible responsible people you see the difference those are the things that we're listening for when we're editing audio it doesn't matter if it's for podcast or for audiobooks irresponsible people will all there's another one. Well, 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 well. You hear that? Well, 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 well. 
And as you go through this, it takes a little bit, but you'll get better at it. The disruption in the flow. Well, well, all, will always, will, will, will. Okay. Now let's listen again. Will all, will all, will all, will all, will all. That's a huge distraction. Now let's go back through. Redo. Will always put. Will always put. 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 There's a hard consonant. Remember that P I was talking about? There it is. It showed up. Full stream. Soften it by fading it in. Put the. Another way you can do this too. You can also shorten it, but you don't want to shorten it too much. Put the. Put the. Put the. Put. Fade in. So you can cut and fade in. Put the blame. Now listen, there's something else in there. Put. There it is again. Put. 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 Usually you can isolate that sound wherever that's coming from. Put. 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 Sometimes you'll lose it in the process, but. Put. 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 It's going to be somewhere in there. So you can see there's. um. That's a little tail right there. Let's listen. Sometimes I go to the end and listen. Put, put. That was it. It was that little, the little click you heard on the back. Put the blame. Put the blame. Put the blame. See, put the blame. All right, so let's go undo so you can catch that again. Put the. You hear that? Put. This is the sound you were hearing right there. That little monster that was disrupting the flow. It might be hard to hear, but that's the clicking sound that it's being that's being made so put the blame put the blame on the responsible 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 here's an example of sibilance so you have some people their palates are shaped differently the way that they speak the way they communicate sometimes it sounds like they have marbles in their mouth you want to go in and fade in now there's two parts to this when you have sibilance in the middle of a sentence or in the middle of a phrase Responsible, responsible, responsible. And there's almost like a, a jagged cutoff. Best practice, <laughs> when in doubt, fade out. When in doubt, fade out. Going into something you want to fade in. Responsible, responsible. So listen. Put the blame on the responsible, 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 responsible. And again, you can, you don't want to shorten it too much, but you can just, Bring it down a little bit so it's not so abrasive. Responsible, 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 people, people. Now there's a phrasing issue. That's something that comes up quite a bit, especially when people are thinking out loud or they're going off the cuff. In this particular episode, um, I know that the the host of this show goes off the cuff, off the dome, many times and, and free flows. So in the process, sometimes depending on how much sleep they've had, what they've been doing that day, how hard they've been working, you know, if they're, they're full of energy or not, it, sometimes there's a strain and you can hear people thinking out loud. So, or they're looking for the right words and they tend to overthink and pause and it slows down speech and thought patterns or, or speaking patterns. The blame on the responsible people people now there's a couple things here people. we've got a hard consonant we're going to fade that in people 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 now you hear that sound that that doesn't even sound like anything so we need to remove that but also maintain the integrity of the word people 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 all right now let's try it again without people People. You hear that that click? Like that people. That abrasive click. That's what we don't want in the file. I'm gonna go redo, and then we're gonna redo delete. People. Now now we have breaths and yet <laughs> catching breaths. And then a click. Right? So generate silence. Always default <laughs> for breath, excuse me. Now what I mean by that, now what I mean by that is uh, is a lot of us are surrounded by that is a lot of us are a lot of us are a lot of us a lot of 
sometimes you have words that flow together they change a thought process mid mid sentence so you have to listen for that and edit it out is a lot of us whenever you have that you have to cut something off the front or the back of a word you're going to want to use the the uh, fade in or fade out is a lot of us are is a lot of us are <clears throat> sometimes a word won't flow appropriately so you have to create some space in there now what i mean by that is a lot of us are surrounded by irresponsible pe a lot of people and you can hear there's a lot of like he uses the word people quite a bit in this episode so you can almost anticipate those p's are going to be the same people and people and a lot of people people and a lot of people that people. you hear that it's almost like a sharp obtuse sound people and a lot of people that listen people that listen to this to to t -t -t -t. you can hear that <coughs> excuse me as i'm coughing all over everything but listen to this to this pod this, this. now there's there's an example of sibilance it's on the back end of a word usually what you can do to curb that is you can go fade in or fade out it doesn't have to be perfect but you don't want it to be so abrasive and so blatant to this podcast so we kind of soften it a little bit by fading out on it. Fade in. Podcasts are podcast. Podcast. You hear that right there? Podcast. Kind of soften the P by taking off just a little bit in the front. It's like just a little trim. Podcast. Podcasts are responsible people. Responsible people. Again, Respons here's that. Sh 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 you hear that? We want to soften that a little bit. <coughs> want to soften that? Cast are responsible. Here we, we have sibilance again in the middle of a phrase, and we, I'm going to show you how to work with that. Cast are responsible. Cast are responsible. If you want to soften that, it's too abrasive. You can always fade in. But in order to do that, if you fade in like that, you're going to have to fade out the previous phrase or word. Not the whole thing. You don't want it to dip down too low in volume. It's our responsible people. And again here. Kind of sounds like a foreign noise. Responsible people. And there's a abrasive type of flow to it. You want to make sure that you are. Responsible people. Responsible people. Okay, we're going to go here. Responsible people. Responsibility. Okay, again, control V. Generate silence. Yeah, if you don't know, like, you can copy the breaths that you take, 0 0.50, whatever that's going to be, and then control V when you go to paste and apply in some softwares. Responsibility. Response. Response. Fuck. Fuck. So this. Again, you've got that. You got a recurring theme. You can hear all of the sibilance and fuck, fuck. the hard P. Responsibility, because some people talk very hard. Some people talk softer. All right. Responsibility is self owner is. So you can see here it's a pretty tedious process depending it's it's going to depend voice to voice narrator or speaker to speaker self ownership self own self -own. okay here's another example of sibilance it you can hear it it comes in the form of an f self self in a case like that you've got it right in the middle of a phrase i would suggest amplify you can fade in and on the back end Fade out just before the sibilance. Self owner. Self. We can even shorten this a little bit. Again, if there's sibilance that is so long that it's still obvious or it hasn't softened, you can always cut a piece of it off. Self owner. Self owner. Self owner. Self owner. Self owner. We can try that. We can try that with this look. Self owner. Self ownership. Self ownership, self ownership, right? If, right? If. Mouth noise. It's a good example right here. You hear that? 
sometimes that comes from somebody being on medication, they just had dairy, or they're, they're parched, so they need to be hydrated a little bit. Ownership, right? Right, if you ownership, right? If you now, what we've done is we've tightened the gap and created a, a break in the communication flow. So we want to make sure that we don't compromise that. So what I would usually do is I go back. Right, if you right, right, right. If ownership, right? If ownership, right? You probably want to fade that in too after you've made those cuts. Anytime you cut, you want to fade in and make it smooth. Right, if you fuck. Right, if you fuck up, right, if you fuck, if you, if you, if you. I'm gonna fade in. Lots of sibilance in this, so these are perfect for practice. That's why I've gotten so so proficient at these. You take enough repetitions, you become a master. Right, if you fuck up, you, right, if you fuck, fuck, fuck. There's another one that's right in the middle of it. The long F on the, on the F word. You can even go, fuck, fuck. See, so we can remove this, but what happens is we shorten the phrasing. If you fuck up, if you fuck up, if you fuck up. So you have to be cognizant of that. You have to replace that with, you can see right down here, 0 0.070. I'm going to go in and generate silence, 0 0.070. And it's the exact amount of time that was spaced out in there. I'm going to fade this in, and it's not going to mess up the flow of the overall passage. It should not anyways, so let's do this. Again, these are like highly technical ways of editing. Uh, they do make a huge difference if you have people that have a very studied ear. If you fuck up, if you fuck up, you, if you fuck up, you own it. If you fuck up, you Hard CK. It's hard not to do the hard CK in that. Fuck up, you. And again, it's right in the middle of a phrase, it gives a together you're gonna to want to fade out to make it nice and fluid fuck up you own it fuck up you right if you fuck up you own it right if you fuck up you own it all right control V we're gonna put our half second in there right leader right oh there's that magic noise again there it is look at it uh oh what is that come to daddy okay here we go right right leaders leaders now here's the thing too when you're editing a work outside of an audio book, a podcast. Podcasts are a little more liberal with editing uh, standards. And the reason why is because you have some people that will use crutch words. Crutch words are so important. Um, they'll say things like so and like, um, you know, and, 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 and. So far we haven't had any repeats in this, but that can be for another module. You don't want someone to repeat themselves. It can be very distracting distracting especially if it's part of their speech pattern a lot of people have the same speech patterns you can almost tell and predict what they're going to say if you listen closely but in this particular case that word is not really required own it leadership 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 you can hear there's like a long drag in that leadership I'm going to fade into that, and I can hear another click inside of there, too. Leaders. Lead. 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 It's in here. If we look close enough, sometimes they're a little bit smaller. See, there it is right there. There's a break in the chain. So remove the break in the chain. Let's go back and listen. Leadership. Leadership is sometimes. Lead. Is sometimes if you. Times if your team. Okay. And this is where a plosive, like when you have like plosives or hard consonants, sometimes they'll just basically modulate so hard that it it goes off the range. So listen. T. 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 There's a break in the chain, and it creates that noise. That. P p right. So you want to get rid of that. Your team fuck. T. 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 You can hear that, that high pitch frequency. Soften it a little bit. If your team fucks, if your team fuck, fuck, fuck. There you go. Fade in. If your team fucks up, if your team. If your team fucks. 
You can hear there's like some overflow on that. If your team fuck, if your team fucks up, you. Team fucks up. You team fuck. Now listen, there's still fuck. there's still like a little hanging on right here, and you wanna. It's a long. T t t t you wanna make it abbreviated. Team fuck. So again, team, team. Shorten that. Team fucks up. Times if your team fucks up. Times if your team fucks up. Now sometimes you shorten it too much. Like right there, it doesn't sound that great. So I'm gonna undo it two times. Team. In this case, what you'll do is you'll just fade in a little bit more, and it maintains the integrity of the spacing, but it also keeps it. Team fuck. Team fucks up. You see that's a little more. Team fucks up. A little more manageable. Same thing here for the F. F. Fade in just a little bit more. Team fucks up. You team fucks up. You own it. My team fucks up. You own it. My friend Dave. My. All right. So you can see he does a run-on sentence here. My friend David. My friend. Da my friend. My 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 my. my. You can see right here. Mmm. Mm, this is the sound like the hum leading into a word. My friend Dave. My. Makes it nice and clean. And again, this is highly technical on the editing, but this is the essence of what you should be catching if there's anything that this is what you're really looking for and listening for. My friend David, my friend. Does it take a little bit longer? Absolutely. Does it make a huge difference in the end? Absolutely. One million percent. I can tell you this at the human ear, the average person, if there's something that's so abrasive inside of an audio file, they are not going to stay and listen throughout the remainder of it, which completely defeats the purpose of you editing it or somebody even producing or an audiobook or a podcast to begin with. If people cannot enjoy the listening experience, they're not going to stay with you. My friend David, my friend David. So it's so important to pay attention to these details as an editor. This is where you become proficient. And again, you know, when you're looking at this process, you have to be very meticulous about it. My friend David, my friend David Goggins, my friend David Goggins talks, talks about Talk hard T. We'll do a couple more and then we'll wrap this video. But talks about talks about this will give you a good outline of what you can expect when you're going through most audio files. And again, the backgrounds are different. We have a pretty clean background. Talks about when they were training Navy C when they were training Navy. And you can see that's just in the first 28 seconds of this file that we've taken. 21 minutes to go through an edit and yes I took a little extra time to explain a few things but it's more important that you embrace and grasp the concepts so that as you're going through in your editing career you're able to catch these things make many edits and become a master of what you're doing when they were training Navy SEALs and he was coaching Navy SEALs later on in his career 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 if if it's team, if it's So you can hear. There's another example. Sibilance, or there's almost like a pitch frequency that's not going to. It's got a little, little wetness on it. You don't want it to be that way. People do not like that. The mouth noises, I don't know about you, but it drives me crazy. If it's team, if it's team, got, if it's team, if it's team. So, I hope that helps you. That concludes module two. And uh, if you have any questions, you can always send me an email or send me a text message. But um, hopefully that'll help you in your journey to, to get a little more critical about the way that you're editing the audio. Um, and obviously, if it doesn't flow right, just add a little something or take a little something away. So that's all you have to do. And remember to fade in and fade out, right? When in doubt, fade out. So that's what I got for you. Take care, hope you have a great day. I hope you enjoyed that episode, took plenty of notes. There's a lot of information in there. But if you want ideal quality, optimal quality for your listening audience, that's the best way to do it. Does it require a lot of work? One million percent. Is it a little tedious? Yes. Is it slightly OCD? It could be, but I'm not in a hospital for it. So <laughs> keep that in mind. 
Thanks again for tuning in. Share this with somebody who needs to see it. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel, Media Monsters 1111. Get the word out. Like, comment, share the post. And if there's anything you ever need help with, you can always go to monumentalvoicemedia.com. Learn more and contact us there. Book a time if it makes sense for you. And you can also send us an email at info at monumentalvoicemedia. Take care. And until next week, keep being a media monster. Rawr.